Hello and welcome back everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be something a little bit more special here, I think. Um, so I'm taking one of my images, one of my oldest ones I still have in my catalog actually. Um, this image is about five years old now, so it's really, really old by you know my standards, I guess, um, so far in my career here um, in photography. But I'm going to take this image here, I'm just going to try and edit it and see um, kind of how I edited it in 2021 versus 2016 um, when I took this image here. So. Um, we're just going to see what happens really. I, I really have no um, expectations. It's really not even a good shot, you know, at all. Um, it's not, it's really something I would take, at least in any kind of sort of way, compositionally speaking. Um, but we're just going to try it out here. So, um, as you can see, it's a, um, it's a dandelion, I believe, and it's just starting to grow, but it's not fully bloomed or uh, blossomed really. But, you know, it's just really, I don't know, it's just not such a good shot. I don't know. I mean, you got like this background, which maybe, I'm not sure if this is intentional, but um, I got looks like a I don't know what that is. If that's like a like a chair or a wood pile um, that's kind of just around it that you know I put it offset basically against the background. I don't know what that is, but and the focus is okay. Um, it's a really really soft focus though, and uh, as you can see, I, it looks like I focus right here on the you know it looks like almost on the tip of it, I guess of the dandelion here, but um, I don't know. But like this this whole. Whatever this is in the background, I can't even tell still. I don't know, but I believe I took this right after I cut the grass in my backyard, actually. And um, I don't even know why I took it, honestly. I just like went outside and just started taking pictures of it. So, you know, that, I guess that's what, you know, goes for the early days at least. Um, but anyways, yeah, I was at ISO 100. Um, I was at 44 millimeters, which probably means I was using my kit lens at the time, um, which those I believe, what, 18 to, 55 or something like that, um, which I don't even have that kit lens anymore. And I was shooting at f5, so I was probably on automatic mode, I'm guessing, um, just shooting that wide and everything. But um, even then, if you look at the histogram, it's still nice, even. Um, it's it's not really exposed to the right, but you know, it's 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 nice uh, middle range there on the entire graph. So I mean, it's not a terrible image, but it's just kind of you know not really the most exciting thing. Um, I will say I appreciate how I did the rule of thirds and offset it to the uh, the right side there. Um, and I guess in a way this, actually now I'm thinking about it, I guess in the way this background, whatever this is, um, is kind of like a leading, that curve right here is kind of leading your eye into this much wider um, subject that I photographed. Um, but yeah, just like there's a little room to breathe up here. I would, like nowadays at least, leave a lot more room up here. Um, just to have the subject breathe a little bit more and not be so cropped in tight like I did here. Um, and this is even before I've cropped it or anything. This is the actual raw file, um, how it looked in camera, of course. And uh, yeah, it's just really like constrained. And um, I feel like nowadays I do something that more accentuate the elongated style of this uh, dandelion here and do like a vertical composition or something. So I don't know. It's enough critiquing of it, but. You know, I can only give so much credit, you know, five years ago versus what I do today, you know, with much more experience, I'd hope. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and edit this and um, see what it looks like, how it'll stack up, I guess, compared to, you know, the raw file that I, you know, took all these years ago. So, okay, that's really harsh, but... So, I'm in, I'm in Skyline Luminar. Um, you know, that's my uh, photo editor of choice. It's one I've pretty much used since... Uh, probably way back when, almost that you know that amount of time, um, probably about three years now, and I'm still using it quite a bit because it you know it works very well for my needs and everything. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is because you can tell it's very overcast light as well, um, so I'm just going to keep it with that you know sort of look because if you start trying to make it look too bright, overly bright, um, it's going to look very very sunny and um, very I think unnatural. So I want to keep it looking how it was, but still bringing out some of that color a little bit more too. And so that's what I'm going to do here. So bump up the color a little bit more. As always, whenever I do edits like this, the, the neat thing about this uh, software in particular is that you can do before and after um, just to see how far you've come with it. And so I do that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's an image, I guess. <laughs> it's an image. That's that's about all I can say about it. So. I mean, what else can you do with it? So, um, but yeah, I mean, this could be a fun thing. Maybe, um, maybe even you could try. Um, any photographers listening, which I would assume most of you are at least, or at least appreciate this kind of thing, is that maybe uh, take yeah one of your oldest raw files or any images for that matter, and uh, see 
what you can really do with them, I guess, and what you can really uh, truly edit with them. So, so I'm gonna bump up the greens a little bit more. I'm, I'm on HSL. Um, I'm gonna go down the saturation here. Now, see if I bump it up with a hundred, it gets that alien green, as I'll say. It's very artificial, of course, but we're gonna bump it up a little bit here. Yeah. I think with like a photo edit like this, you know, I'm gonna have some fun with it and just, um, like I said, I still want to keep it fairly natural, but like, you know, we could do like maybe even like a more like a harsh vignette or um, I may try some masking. I don't know. So it's really, it's really, well, you know, I guess the creator right here, you know, it's like, it's whatever you want it to be, of course. So here's luminance and um, that brightens it up quite a bit here. So, yeah, I just don't know what that background thing is. I don't know. I think it's like a wood pile, I believe. Like, it was growing right, you know, right behind it, and I positioned myself. But, like, what I guess what I'm getting at is, like, I don't know if that was intentional, like, of me to, you know, compose it that way. And I'm leaning towards no. I don't think it really was. <laughs> I feel like I just, you know, it was just a happy accident, so. And sharpen, we'll sharpen last, of course. You know, that's the most important thing to do last. Here's a little bit of a vignette. You can see the slight difference too. I don't know if you can see that. There's a nice subtlety to it, I guess, but yeah, I'm not I don't think this is really what I'm after. I don't think I've ever done a shot like that, but maybe some like black and white waterfalls or something, I guess, but you know, that's about it. Alright. See, it's, it's coming along here. I, actually, that vignette's a little too harsh there, so I, I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. The Orton effect. So this is a cool one. Um, in short, I'll say it's just, it simultaneously sharpens and softens parts of the image, and uh, it does it rather um, intentionally, or intelligently, I guess, is what I mean. But it is pretty intentional. Uh, yeah. I think what I'm thinking now, you gotta look at it from kind of like a thumbnail view and zoom out a little bit sometimes, but I'm gonna take those greens and, you know, just dial them back a little bit, so. All right, here's what I got so far. All right, so. Yeah, and of course, let me know in the comments what you think of the edit. Um, yeah, just overall, I mean. Now here's the, here's one that's called AI Sky Enhancer, um, but you can actually use it sometimes on non-sky things. Um, so maybe it assumes this is a sky, but obviously it's not. So you can tell I, I brought back a lot of color. Um, I don't think it's too overpowering, like I was mentioning about it looking unnatural, but you know it does kind of make it look like it might have been like more of like a. Partly sunny kind of day, or just you know partial shade. Um, but if I recall, this is out in the middle of the lawn, and I just like knelt down basically with my Canon Rebel T3, uh, my first camera at the time, and just you know took the shot as so. So I don't know, yeah, it's just there. But yeah, and uh, you know, let's have some fun here. Let's try something. Let's do like a soft glow. Uh, never mind. It's, it's actually bringing out the brighter parts of the image, like the background there, so I'm not, I'm not really too much into that one. You know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's bump up some contrast, actually. Now that it reminds me of it, at least. Let's take down the whites a little bit. So that'll kind of calm down the background there with that, that tan beige color there. Bump up the clarity a little bit more. Bump up the exposure just a little bit, not too much. So you don't want to overexpose, like especially this bright part. This looks like it might be the brightest part of the image here, and so I don't want to like overdo that, of course. But you just see the big difference. It's dramatic. Like this, this looks very bland, like a raw file usually starts out, but like this at least brings back a lot more color. Um, I still feel like it's too much green though, just like a little too much green. I'm gonna, yeah, do, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That's, I don't feel like that's too, like, overbearing, at least, for 
Um, at least the kind of image I'm going after, so to speak. Yeah, I think with that said, I'm gonna sharpen it now and probably say that's it. So, just a little bit of sharpening. All right. So, I think that's it, yeah. I'm gonna export it and we'll call it quits for this one. So, what do I call this? Five year image, right? Oh, one, so, yep, that is it, so. Yeah, just I hope you enjoyed it at least. Um, I hope this is kind of entertaining in the slightest. Um, I thought it was interesting at least because yeah, this is a raw file I took, like I said, five years ago and I just never gave it the time of day. I've never edited it and um, simply because it's not really that good of an image, which I guess even back then I realized that because I never did you know, get, get around to um, messing around with it in the software. But um, now that I am, it's just kind of neat to see how far I've come and improved in my photography. So. Um, I recommend you do the same, you know, look through your catalog and look for like the oldest images you may have and stuff that you really aren't even that much excited or proud of and, um, you know, see if you can really edit them and um, share your own before and after kind of images, even if you did edit them, of course. And so, yeah, hopefully this inspired you to do the same. So, um, thanks so much for watching everyone and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.